Hi, I'm Carly Bell, and welcome to my craft room. Today I am trying out a brand new project, so this will be new for me and new for you. <laughs> but uh, I think it's going to be pretty straightforward, but what I want to do is applique and embroider a piece of material and then turn this material into a little toddler pillow. So normally when I buy fabric for, if I'm just using it for embroidery, I just get a quarter yard of fabric. And so that's what I did. I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I got a quarter yard of this blue material. And I ended up cutting a little bit off the end here um, and decided this would be a good size for a child's pillow. So I, since it's a little bit of an oblong pillow, um, I thought the five by 12 repositionable hoop um, would be nice so that I can put a name and then like an applique design across the whole front of the pillow. So I think it should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started and hoop the fabric. Okay, here is my piece of fabric and it's still folded in half here and I'm going to figure out my placement. And I'm gonna do my same method I always use using the grid that comes with the hoop you're working with and just a ruler to figure out um, the center of the item. And then place some marks. Okay. Okay. And then use the disappearing ink fabric marker. This fabric is a little on the darker side, but I just did a little test spot and I can still see the purple come through. So you may not see it on the camera, but by eye, I can see the dots so that I can use it as a guide when I'm trying to figure out the placement. But hopefully you can see the crosshairs clearly on camera. So yeah, so that's nice and visible. So we have that. Um, since this is a thin piece of material, I'm gonna use medium weight cutaway stabilizer. So I'm gonna place my hoop. I'm just gonna place the stabilizer on top, place the fabric on top, and kind of eyeball what the center should be. You want to make sure that the stabilizer is poking out on all edges of the hoop for it to get hooped properly. And then just make sure your hoop's in the right orientation, the top part. And place the grid into the top part of the hoop. And I know this will be hard to see on camera because this grid is not clear, but I am going to press down and it was pretty good. So yeah, I had it lined up pretty good just by eyeballing it. Okay. And you can tug on the fabric a little bit on the edges to make sure it's nice and taut. Make sure the hoops push down all the way and then tighten this. Um, the repositionable hoop has the screw in the upper right corner a little bit different than my other hoops. All right. You don't want to pull too much because then you'll, you want, you know, make sure this line is straight. Okay. Aha. That's why I'm having trouble. See, my stabilizer is not in the hoop here. So that might cause 
some puckering, so I'm gonna redo it. Okay, so once you have it hooped, make sure your stabilizer is going through and then tighten the top. Okay, once we have, now that all that's done, we can add some water soluble topper. Okay, so we are all set and ready to go to the machine. So now I'm ready to make the design that I want to put on my pillow. So first off, I'm going to change the hoop to the 5 by 12 repositionable hoop, um, which is also called the 130 by 300 jumbo hoop, um, and hit OK. And then I also need to rotate it 90 degrees and hit apply. OK, so now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I want to do a space rocket theme. So I have this. Um, spaceship applique design. I got it from Stitch Away Applique, but they are no longer in business. But I'm going to try and find another applique design that is similar to this and post a link in the description box below if you are looking for something like this. So, and it pasted right where I wanted it. So, on this side of the hoop, and this is one of the things I love about and brilliance. So, well, first let me add the name. So, I love in brilliance because it has BX fonts. And then I'm going to show you after I add this. So, here's my font that I want to do. And for that. Here. So, just adding the name and the spaceship, it looks nice. But this is one of the things I love about it, Brilliance. These stars are very cute. Wouldn't it be nice to have some of those stars over here? So I'm going to go and click the stars. And I'm going to copy them and paste them and draw them over here and I can rotate them something like this and then maybe it would be nice to have some over here too so I'm going to go to paste again put those over here Maybe change it up a little. There we go. And just move these stars around until it's something that I like. For this thing. So, isn't that cool that we were able just to copy those stars? So, this is going to be the design for the pillow. Okay, now I'm at the machine with my hooped piece of material and I've uploaded the design. The Imbrilliant software automatically split my design into two um, and it looks like just the name and some stars are going to be on one side and the spaceship will be on the other. So. As I've shown you before with the 5x12 repositionable hoop, you can, so for instance, if I'm looking at it this way, I want the name here and the spaceship here. So I am going to hook up these two lower brackets first. Also, when working with such a big hoop, make sure that um, nothing's in the way. So like my machine is close to the wall, so I'm gonna pull it forward so there's no chance of 
the hoop hitting the wall. So I'm going to load the Zach, the name design, and I'm just going to go ahead and click layout to make sure it's the right way that I want it. Well, in the case of the pillow, it doesn't matter, but um, it's facing the way I was thinking in my head. So that's good. And for some reason with all of the repositionable hoop designs I make, they have this basting stitch. So you can just go to the plus minus steps and skip over that step. So in one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to cut applique um, fabric on your silhouette or Cricut um, cutting machine. So I'm using those pieces for this project now. The first part of the design is now done, so I'm going to lift the presser foot, take the hoop off, and now I'm going to move it to the back two um, brackets and load the next design. And now I'm just going to stitch out all of the applique placement stitches. And for this applique, I'll do the traditional way of cutting a square piece of fabric big enough and then trim the applique after the tack down stitch. Okay, so I'm going to cut these jump stitches, cut out some applique fabric, iron some heat and bond on the back, and I'll be back. Here I have my uh, three applique um, pieces of material and I ironed heat and bond light on the back of them so you then just peel the paper off and then we'll iron these pieces after they're done packing down. So now we will back up to the tack down stitch of the middle of the spaceship. Okay, so since all of the applique is done now and I still have the yellow thread loaded, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and do the stars for this design and then go back and do the satin stitch for all of the applique. The design is all done stitching, so now I'm just gonna clean it up by cutting all the jump stitches and then tearing off the water-soluble topper. Since um, these applique letters have rough um, fabric edges, there's no like nice seam line to that the soluble topper will just tear. So I just cut uh, some of it just to get most of it away. And now I will use um, some water and just a little spray bottle to get all the rest of the topper dissolved. Okay, now we can remove the fabric from the hoop. And we can cut most of the stabilizer away.
and just be careful that you don't cut your fabric and you only cut the stabilizer. Alright, and we don't need to do any cleanup on this side because this is the inside of the pillow. So now I will fold this with the two right sides together and I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and I will sew um, from here with like a probably a quarter inch to a half inch seam allowance I will stitch here then I'll probably stop then leave a like a three to four inch gap and then sew here to here and then we'll turn it right side out and um, fill it so I'm back now with the um, stitching done just a really simple straight stitch and then left this opening so I'm going to turn the pillow right side out Also now would be a good time to iron your applique um, fabrics to activate the heat and bond uh, light that's underneath them. So now we can start filling the pillow. I think that looks about good so now I am going to go back to the sewing machine I'm gonna pin this hole shut and then I am gonna do a white top stitch around either just the ends or I might go around the whole thing with the white top stitch so that I think that'll give it a nice finished look So I am all done doing the side stitches on, I ended up doing a top stitch on both of the sides of the pillow and that closed the hole that I had for um, adding all the stuffing in. I just folded the edges in so it's still a smooth edge and now it has top stitching on both sides. So uh, I think this came out pretty good, especially for deciding to want to make a pillow on the whim. <laughs> Um, and I think my um, cousin's little boy is going to like it. So this is cute as a throw pillow on a bed or um, this is going to go with a blanket that my mom bought for him for his birthday. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's project and that you learned a little bit about the 5x12 hoop um, applique. And you can see my previous video on how to cut the applique um, fabric using your silhouette or Cricut um, machine with the rotary blade and that's it so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below um, also check out my Facebook group for beginner embroidery um, machine um, advice and tutorials and other crafts um, such as vinyl and sewing um, if you have any questions about other things I do in my craft room, check out my website, carlybell.com. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to see other things that are going on in my craft room. Hope everyone has a good day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.